Google has shared with us the best way to prompt VO 3.1. And in the video today, I'm going to show you how to do this simply so that you can start creating the very best prompts for your videos. In the video, you're going to learn the five part formula for directing the scene. This is cinematography shot composition, which is the camera angle and the position, the movement. It's the subject, which is the main character or focal point in the video. Action, which is what is the subject doing? How is it moving in the video? Then you've got context and setting. This is the environment and the background or the time of day. And finally, style and ambiance the overall aesthetic, mood, lighting, or feeling of the scene. So before we get into how to do this prompt formula and create really good prompts with it, let's show you how you can access Google VO 3.1. The first place you can access VO 3.1 is in Google Flow. And you can just type this into Google and it will take you straight here. Now you will have to sign up to use it, but then you get access to text to video and frames to video inside Google Flow. So the other way that I use VO 3.1 is in Higgsfield AI. Now this is brilliant because you could get access to Sora 2, Google VO 3.1, Clean 2.5 Turbo, and a whole lot of amazing software. You also have a lot more power inside this. You can use the frames option, start to end frame, the ingredients option to add in your own images, and you've got prompting and different options to change the quality and multi-shot mode. It's definitely worth checking this out if you're gonna use VO 3.1 a lot moving forward. So first up, we have cinematography and shot composition. This is the camera angle and the position or the movement of the character or the scene. You can control this in many different ways, like a medium shot, a slow zoom, a low camera angle, creating different moods and feelings in your video. Adding specific camera angles and movements can really make your video dynamic. Next up is the subject. This is the main character or the focal point that you wanna focus on in the video. And it's best to describe this in detail. The better you describe the look of your character and the details you add in, the better the result you'll get. When you've created the main character, you want to look at action. This is an important step to really show what the subject is doing in the video. And you can control this with this part of the prompt. A great way to do this is to really describe the way the subject is moving around the scene. Next up, you've got context and setting. This is important because it describes the environment or the world that you're creating with the video. Also, this is describing the background, the time of day, weather, if it's bright or if it's dark. You could really set the scene with this part of the prompt. Finally, you've got style and ambience. This is the overall aesthetic. It really follows on nicely from the environment just really digging deeper into the mood and the lighting. You can describe things like the light and how you want it to look. And if you want things to be cinematic, ultra real, or if you want it to be a cartoon. I'm really excited to announce that today's video has been sponsored by Skillshare. On Skillshare, you have access to thousands of classes at all levels, whether you're an artist, freelancer, entrepreneur, or just a person trying not to unravel. Skillshare helps you tap into creativity that fuels long-term clarity, balance, growth, and success. Now on Skillshare, I became a member because I wanted to learn to become more productive and to get a bit of a handle on AI. This class here on VO3 in Canva showed me how to make cinematic AI videos using effective prompting. I've used the skills provided in this class to gain a good understanding of how to prompt AI. It also changed my mindset on AI, which I now feel great about. It's hugely improved my productivity and also my understanding of AI. Now, the first 500 people that use the link in the description or the QR code on the screen will get a free month trial. I'm telling you guys, using Skillshare is worth it, so go check it out right now. So now we've got all of the individual prompt pieces we can actually add these together to create the perfect prompt to generate the best video. Let's show you how to do it. So here are the prompt ingredients added together 
into this prompt. A lone grizzled fisherman, mid-sixties, in a faded yellow slicker jacket, face weathered and focused, deliberately mends a heavy wet net with his scarred hands. So this whole first part here is the subject and the action. So we're describing the subject in the scene and then the action or what he's doing. Next up, we're moving on to shot with a slow continuous handheld tracking shot at shoulder level with shallow depth of field on the subject. Now we're setting the composition. We're also describing what camera angle to really display this in. Next up, takes place on a fog drenched deck of a rusty trawler in the middle of a choppy pre-dawn sea with sea spray hitting the lens. So this is the environment and we're describing the environment so that we can really paint the picture or in this case, create the video. Here we have style. We're describing how we want the style of the video to look. So ultra realistic cinematic portrait. And then let's go on to really mention the color grade. So the color of the scene, moody teal and orange color grade with some harsh rim lighting. So we've set the whole scene and we've gone through every part of the prompt formula. But one thing we haven't discussed, and this is so important, is to add in an audio prompt as well. So visually bringing the scene to life is so important. But if you don't also tap in to people's hearing so that they can hear things going on in the scene as well, then your video is not going to have nowhere near as much impact. So the audio is the creak of the boat, rhythmic thud of waves and wet slap of the net. So let's have a look at the result. Let's try this with a completely different theme though, to show you that this will work across the board. So. This one is a young woman, the twenties, with expressive wide eyes and a slight confident grin pulls a sleek, futuristic augmented reality headset down over her eyes with a purposeful practiced motion. This is the subject and this is the action that the subject is doing with a product. Next up, we're looking at the aspect ratio which is gonna be a medium shot with a fast, shaky, close quarters dolly in on the subject's face. So this is saying what camera motion we want to create when we generate the video. Then a bit of context, a busy, colorful calf filled with diffused natural light and the soft chatter of other patrons. So this is saying that the environment needs to be this colorful calf and we need to add these people or these patrons into the background. Finally, we're looking at style. We want this to be a modern social media slash tech ad, shallow depth of field, we're describing the background, clean, vibrant color grading. So we've now got the color and the real feel of the scene. Then of course you have audio. We want this clear, crisp ASMR like click of the headset immediately followed by an energetic bass heavy electronic beat drop. So I understand that this seems like a lot of things, but you have to break this down. Each prompt piece of the ingredient you need to bring together and then you end up with this whole prompt, which is gonna work really well for us. So there might feel like a lot to remember, but if you stick to these five ingredients, these five themes in your prompt, you're gonna get good results. Now you'll have to practice though, because the more detailed you are with your describing of things, the better result you're going to get. So don't get discouraged if you start doing this and your results aren't great. Just try and be specific, practice using details, and the more you practice, the better you'll get. I hope you've enjoyed the video. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do start frame to end frame. And this is a more advanced technique where you can create whole stories and link different video clips together to create short films. This is a very powerful technique. It's gonna be more involved and I'm gonna spend a little bit more time in the next video showing you how to do it. If that sounds like something you'd like to learn to do, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you've enjoyed the video, give me a like. 
any questions you've got, drop them in the comments section. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.